Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Pasti. If you are new here, then please don't forget to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel. So, in case you don't know, October 10th was the World Mental Health Day, and because of that, last year I made a series of videos regarding mental health and mental health awareness, and I thought I should continue the same thing this year as well. So, this is the third video of that series, and this is going to be very simple and literally something that every one of us should do. And I can't believe that like people need to come out and say that we need to be kinder but yeah we do need to be kinder when someone is going through certain mental health issues they anyway have a hard life they anyway have a hard time coping up with things you know everything around them is hard so the two things that can actually make their journey of healing easier and how you can kind of help them in their journey of healing is kindness and understanding now understanding is a very subjective thing so you cannot understand everyone but we can be kind to everyone we can choose to be kind to everyone and believe me it will help them a lot the thing is a lot of times we are just trying to be helpful a lot of times we are just a lot of times we are just trying to be helpful and friendly but we end up being mean to people and we don't even realize that so you know there are certain things that you should not say to someone if they are going through something in general you should not say such things to anyone but especially to someone who's going through something who are going through mental health issues try and avoid saying a few certain thing so that at least you personally don't trigger them you know there's any will a lot in the world that can trigger them but at least you won't be a factor and even that counts the first and foremost are you sure you have these mental health issues are you sure you're not making a hill out of a mole now if you are someone with a mental health issues i am sure you have heard this that you know maybe you're not depressed maybe you're just sad maybe you don't have anxiety issues maybe you just felt anxious once maybe you don't have this and that you know the the whole thing of like how can you have mental health issues maybe you're just overthinking this please try and avoid saying that i get that you might come from a point of care that you know like you don't want to believe that your friend is going through something like that but don't say this like imagine how stupid it will sound if i imagine i am someone i fall down and i hurt my leg mere pair mein chot lag gayi and i am saying that fracture jaisa dard ho raha hai and you wahan dur se baith ke you are telling me nahi nahi fracture nahi sprain hai sprain hai sprain hai like you cannot tell me ki sprain hai i know the pain that i am going through and a doctor and x-ray that can help me in finding out if it's a fracture or a sprain but you a third person who has no idea of the pain that i am going through you cannot tell that for me right tum wo nahi bata sakte so that is the point avoid saying these things to your friends to your family members or to anyone who is going through certain issues like maybe there's a 100% chance that they don't have a mental health issue you know maybe they're just overthinking it there is a 100% chance but it is not your place to tell that to them it is not your place to say that you know maybe it's not true it is their own journey they will find out with time they will take therapy if needed they will find it out but it is not your place to point out and say nahi nahi aisa kuch nahi hai ho sakta you are just overthinking this that's really not your place the next thing is that you should totally avoid saying that yaar aajkal ka to ye trend ban gaya now this is something you should not say anywhere okay don't say it to anyone but specially to someone who is having mental health issues that aajkal to trendy hai to have mental health issues you know ye aajkal ki cheez hai ye aajkal ki cheez nahi hai aajkal bas thankfully thoda aur awareness hai that people realize ki kya ho raha hai people try and heal from that that is literally the only difference pehle bhi yahi sab issues hote the pehle bhi itne hi issues hote the pehle bas wo recognize nahi ho pate the pehle log aake bol nahi pate the now they can come up and take help and that's the thing it's not a trend you know the third is something please don't say this to people that it's all in your head you don't have real problems it's just things that you're making up on in your mind this is not how it works you know even if it's in your mind it is real even if the issues and the things that i'm building up in my mind those are real issues like to quote the greatest dumbledore is this all real Or is it just happening inside my head? Of course it's happening inside your head, Harry. Why should that mean that it's not real? Do you understand what it means that it might be happening just in my head, but my head is a real place. My brain, my subconscious, unconscious, all these parts of my mind are real. 
सो वॉट एवर आई एम थिंकिंग वॉट एवर द थॉट्स दैट आर काइंड ऑफ कमिंग बैक टू मी आर सॉर्ट ऑफ हॉन्टिंग मी दो दोज आर रियल एज वेल दे आर नॉट जस्ट सुपरफिशियल एंड जस्ट हवाई चीजें नहीं है दे आर रियल थिंग्स सो यू नो डोंट से सच स्टफ दैट यू नो दिस इज ऑल इन योर हेड एंड यू डोंट हैव एनी रियल इशूज मे बी आई डोंट हैव रियल प्रॉब्लम्स इन लाइफ बट द थॉट्स दैट आर हैपनिंग इन माई हेड आर क्रिएटिंग रियल प्रॉब्लम्स इन माई डे टू डे फंक्शनिंग आर क्रिएटिंग रियल प्रॉब्लम्स इन माई डे टू डे लाइफ एंड दैट्स वाई डोंट से दिस टू दैम द नेक्स्ट इज सच अ कॉमन थिंग एंड आई जेन्यनली कैन नॉट बिलीव दैट फ्रेंड्स से दिस टू ईच अदर दैट यू आर जस्ट ट्राइंग टू सीक अटेंशन दिस इज जस्ट एन अटेंशन सीकिंग टेंडेंसी दैट यू हैव यू जस्ट वॉन्ट द स्पॉट लाइट ऑन योर सेल्फ आई जेन्यनली कैन नॉट बिलीव फ्रेंड्स और इवन फैमिली मेम्बर्स से दिस टू ईच अदर वैन दे हियर दैट समन इज गोइंग थ्रू समथिंग बिकॉज लेट्स फॉर वन मोमेंट अज्यूम दैट दे हैव लाइक अटेंशन सीकिंग टेंडेंसीज even those tendencies stem from some sort of psychological trigger you know there's a reason why they want that attention and through therapy through help that reason can be healed you know those tendencies can be changed but just saying that it's attention seeking or you're just saying such things because because you just want some attention please don't say that to anyone and honestly attention seeking tendencies can also be a symptom of a psychological problem of some mental illness so you never know you. the next is be positive and think of all the things that you have now it is a great method to be grateful you know when you want to think about the things that you are grateful for being positive and looking at how much you have and you know others have it worse that's a great way that's a great thing to look at but when someone is feeling sad about what they are right now seeing that others have less will not help yeah so please don't tell them that they have so much to be thankful for because there is 100% chance that they are super thankful about the life and all, about all the things that they have but they still don't feel happy they don't feel fine and you know even they don't know that why they are feeling all of this and you will just add on to the guilt that usually people with mental health issues already have when people have mental health issues they are constantly thinking that you know am i being like a super self centered person should i not have these issues they anyway feel super guilty about it you saying that you know others have it so much worse that will not help your friend in any way now at the same time after hearing all of these things you might kind of wonder that you know if we are if we can't say all of this to them then what are the things that we can say to them or what we can do to be there for them first and foremost thing is listening don't listen to respond don't listen to solve their problems but just listen to them just actively listen to what they are trying to say just do that even that helps a lot another thing that you can do to help your friend by being kind is if they tell you that they are going through something even if you think that it might not be real try and convince them to take up counseling to take up therapy because a therapist will be able to figure it out much more and one of the biggest things that you can tell your friend is that whatever they are feeling whatever they are going through it is completely fine it's completely okay to have those feelings and you know the feelings that you're having they are valid they are allowed to have those feelings they are allowed to feel low and they will get better from with that but obviously they they are going to have to work for that and for that seeking counseling or seeking therapy would be a good idea so yeah and in general just be kind to people you know just that's all just like two percent more kinder don't so yeah that was all for this video i hope you liked it if you did then please don't forget to leave a like comment down below and let me know what you thought about the video and yeah please don't forget to share this video and subscribe to my channel i will be back very soon with another video till then stay happy stay healthy and take care